Hello everyone. I teased it a little bit on the Twitter in terms of Leo Messi and uh, his possible destinations if he were to leave Barcelona, if he was to, to, to leave the team. But if he does, to me, the two options are Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester City. Inter and outside one, I'm going to leave them outside right now. But um, what would be advantages or disadvantages of, uh, disadvantages of it? Uh, PSG for me is a much safer, safer option. Less scrutiny, better possibility to be successful in terms of trophies won, in terms of his ability to score, his ability to assist, the team in itself and the league in itself, right? Because I'm gonna look at Paris Saint-Germain and I'm gonna to say to myself, well, you have Mbappe, you have Di Maria, which he's, of course, uh, familiar with. You have Neymar, whom he loves. It makes sense. You have an engine room in behind, right? You look at Verratti and Marquinhos. They can protect him, and they can allow him to play the way he likes to play. At Manchester City, not so much. Although, if you have to look at Manchester City, uh, there's some pluses as well, right? If you look at De Bruyne, my goodness, can you imagine Kevin De Bruyne and Lo Messi on the same page? Kevin De Bruyne could be the Xavi of Barcelona of all when Leo Messi was the most successful under Pep Guardiola. Just as good, if not better. Argu arguable, but you could say that, right? Incredible. Uh, I'm not going to compare uh, Sterling to uh, Iniesta, but I will say that with Leo Messi and his ability to pick out players, he could be the next Pedro. He could be the next David Villa, of course, uh, in terms of getting behind the back four. So again, pluses and minuses. In terms of perception and pressure, come on. If you, if you look at Leo Messi at Barcelona, I'm not saying that everybody loved Leo Messi in La Liga, but every time he went away and he played incredibly well, he would get the standing ovation from the away fans right i mean we've seen that with ronaldinho we've seen that with messi when he's on no matter where he goes people appreciate his genius that's not going to happen in england <laughs> the first bad pass and that's that right i mean the twitter's going to lit up and everybody else is going to uh, I'll put pressure on him again maybe or maybe not he's able to to deal with that pressure but that's just total uh, totally different. So, you know, one bad pass and you know it in England. Uh, so, again, take financial fair, pl fair play away. Take whatever the perception you may have about anything else. If I'm low Messi, a player that none of us ever thought would ever leave, leave Barcelona, you face yourself with that decision. And the question becomes, does he really want to challenge himself and prove for once and for all to everybody in the world that he is the, by far the GOAT, the greatest ever? I guess you'd have to go to England and prove that. Pep Guardiola is going to give you the platform. He does have the players to help him, not the balance that Paris Saint-Germain does, but it is the most entertaining and the most foul league in the world. So if you Leo Messi, you say to yourself, well, that's a challenge, I wanna take it on. Or do you go to Paris Saint-Germain where it's an easier route to success, but one that will not spoil your legacy in a way, because if he goes there, he's gonna be the same Leo Messi we've seen at Barcelona. The one that scores, assists, and looks perfect every week with the likes of Mbappe, Di Maria, and Neymar, and all the players in behind that can make him successful. So fascinating for sure. I don't know if I'm right or wrong in any of this, of course, as always. Um, it seems to me that Paris Saint-Germain, of course, is the safer bet, but it's the right one. Let me know in the comments. Ciao.